answers you seek, let us consult the mystical orb of fate's destiny. Do you like my mystical orb of fate's destiny? I just got it. Cool, huh? Yeah, uh, best one I've seen. Look deep into the crystal ball, for soon it will reveal all. Ah, yes, I see something. It is a vision of the future. I see you, Twilight. You will get a really cool birthday present next year. Yes, and that's it. Are you sure? Yep, cool birthday present. Pinky, I need your pinky sense to tell me what the impending disaster is that future Twilight was trying to warn me about. Oh, my fortune telling has nothing to do with my pinky sense, silly. It's only good for vague and immediate events. Like that, see? Where did that even come from? La 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 Gosh, I haven't seen Twilight since the flower pot incident. Hope she still isn't mad. Uh... Off by 0 0.02 from yesterday. Carry the 15. Negative azimuth on the 14th moon. Hey, Pinky. Twilight's really serious about finding out about that cool birthday present, isn't she? Who cares? As long as I can keep eating ice cream. Sorry, future Spike. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay? Ah, Pinky, I'm glad you're here. Can you help me recalibrate the apertures on the nine and quarter catadioptric telescopes? Sure! So I was thinking, after I came to see Madam Pinky and the flower pot landed on my head, see the bandage just like the bandage from the future. Nice! I had an epiphany after that flower pot. Doing things didn't work, not doing things didn't work, and I couldn't predict the future either, so I only had one other choice. Monitor everything. Makes sense to me. That way, no matter what happens in the future, I'll be ready. I thought I saw something last night in the Horsehead Nebula, but after staring at it for three straight hours, I realized I was wrong. Three hours? But when did you sleep? Oh, I didn't sleep. I haven't slept since Future Twilight was here. There are only three days left until next Tuesday. I can sleep all I want after that. You've been awake too long, Twilight. Yeah, Tuesday's not three days from now. Tuesday's tomorrow. <gasps> Pinky, did you finish recalibrating the apertures on the nine and quarter inch catadioptric telescopes? I have no idea. Patches stashed all over Ponyo in case of eye patch emergency. There! Now you look like a pirate. A sleepy pirate with a really weird mane cut. The eye patch. Another sign. <sighs> Nearly all the signs have come through. I haven't done a thing to prevent the catastrophe. If Tuesday's tomorrow and the disaster happens by Tuesday morning, then there's only one solution. I'll just have to stop time. Angelot archives are right over there. Let's move. Uh, I don't think we need to sneak around, Twilight. It's not illegal to walk around Canterlot. Guard! Come on, you guys. Oh, that was close. I don't know why we have to wear these things, either. Aren't we wearing them for fun? No, there's nothing fun about this. Oh, are you sure? Focus, guys. The only way to prevent this disaster is to stop time. Time spells are kept in the Star Swirl the Bearded Wing, the most secure section of the archives. That's why we're sneaking around. Awesome! That sounds fun! This was my nest in my house! And now I have to start from scratch! I, I thought it would make you happy. Happy! Happy! I... <laughs> I just need some time alone. Hmm. How's the sleepover rarities going? Why, it's smashing! Huh? I just wish we could do something special together that didn't include me goofing anything up. Oh, the Sister Hoof Social! Applejack and I do it every year. 
You and Rarity can compete against other sister teams in all these neat events. <gasps> that sounds like the perfect way for us to hang out. Rarity will think it's an excellent idea. What a ridiculous idea. A contest at Sweet Apple Acres. It doesn't sound very clean. So what, now you're back to hating messes? Sweetie Belle, watch your tone. I am still your big sister. Right, and any sister who cares about her sister goes. Sweetie Belle, honestly, playing silly little games in the dirt is just uncouth, with or without a sister. Well then, maybe, maybe I'll try the sister of social without a sister. In fact, I think I'll try the rest of my life without a sister. <gasps> oh, I'm the one who's ruining your life. Really? Have you looked around this place? I'm the one who would be better off with no sister. Well, it looks like we finally agree on something. Neither of us needs a sister. Deal! Deal! Goodbye, hun, sister. Sisterhood Social was on coop? Yeah, on coop. <coughs> Wait, what's on coop? It's not just the social. She thinks I'm on coop. Honey, Rarity thinks everything's on coop. What's on coop? It means uncivil, you know, bad mannered. <coughs> exactly. Sweetie Belle, just give Rarity some time. She'll come around. Sisters always do. Not sisters like Rarity. Come on now. Apple Bloom and I got some chores to finish up on. Maybe you can help. You sure you want me to help? I just mess everything up. Oh, come on. That's just stinking thinking. Watch. to do chores together. Mm. Oh, that work ruined. Thanks to Sweetie Belle. Oh my, it's usually a big mess in here. I do! This is genius! I shall call it Full Spectrum Fashions. Why, if Sweetie Belle hadn't... <clears throat> no matter. She still shouldn't have touched my things without permission. Hmm. A treat from Sugar Cube Corner will cheer you up. No, it won't. A party will cheer you up. No, it won't. A lovely new shampoo will cheer you up. No, it won't. It's just a cutie mark. Or lack of a cutie mark. Shh, that's not helping. Apple Bloom, where are you going? Apple Bloom, come back! Whoa! <laughs> well, who is it that we have here? Why, it's Apple Bloom, my dear. Oh! What has happened to you, youth? Ah, you've gone and chipped your tooth. Come with me. I have just the trick that will fix you up quite quick. I tried everything, Decora, and still no cutie mark. Well, I'm gonna be as old as Granny Smith and still have a blank slate. Your frustration is well understood, but one must be patient for all things good. Ugh, I've heard that from every pony I know, and now from every zebra I know. I'm just too impatient to be patient. I 
want this one like cutie mark and I want it now. For your cutie mark, you will have to wait. We must fix that tooth before it's too late. Now, drink down every little drop, and this mixture will mend that chip on top. Oh, my star apples, you did, Sakura! Golly, you love tonics that heal all sorts of ailments. Bad bones, bad back, bad breath. Yes, little one, it is true. I have many a healing brew. And not only stuff that fixes the bad, but stuff that brings the good. Good health, good hair, good heavens! Hmm. I bet you can mix up a brew to fix anything. There are many mixtures in this room, but none for what you want, dear Apple Bloom. A magic potion does not hold the key. For a cutie mark, time is the only remedy. Fine. What you got going on there? I am brewing up another mix for a rooster and his chicks. Seems the rooster has lost its crow, making mornings very slow. Hey, I've seen that flower blooming in Ponyville. What is it? It is one we call Heart's Desire. A dash will ignite the rooster's fire. With Heart's desire, his talent comes into view, and he'll give a mighty cock a doo doo. Sally! Heart's desire, huh? I mean, but what is this? I've run out of amethyst. I must go get this purple flower for my brew to have full power. Yeah, you go, you go. to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so grabby. My arms aren't usually this long, either. What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will Guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave will boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So, what do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon. That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh. Well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, doctor. Hmm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster. But to be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks, anyway. 
Come on, Spike. starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> You mean, the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. This amazing broom. Spy! Oh, a 
that's too bad. We can reschedule. <laughs> well, howdy, Miss Cheerily. You window shopping? Uh, no. Uh, you asked me to come here to tell me that you wouldn't be making it to Family Appreciation Day? Fiddlesticks! I wouldn't miss it for all the tea in Canterlot. But <laughs> didn't you just say, see you Monday? She woke up from her nap. She never wakes up from her nap. I wish I could just run off and hide. Well, you can't run off, but maybe some pony else can. Everything okay in there? Who needs a diaper change? Don't worry, they're fine. <laughs> Oh, I mean... Oh, I got it. <laughs> Is any pony hungry? Uh, no thanks. I just had a big breakfast. I'm on it. Oh, 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 you're making funny faces. I have one. Bear! Uh, no, you see, Pinky, the babies need to be burped. All set now? Everything good? Okay, who wants to play again? No pounding things. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, we don't chew on things, pumpkin cake. Except food. <gasps> Great cinnamon sticks, I completely forgot. No, you just fed them bottles, remember? Not the baby's food. The food for the enormously big catering order we have to deliver today. Oh, with the new twins, we've been so distracted. Quick, honey bun, we need to find a babysitter to watch the foals while we take care of this. I can do it! I want to do it! Oh, the babies love playing with me, I'll do it! I wonder who would be available on such short notice. Me! Me! Pick me! Oh, I would love to babysit. But I can't today, sorry. I promised Angel we'd go on a picnic. You understand, don't you? You're not mad at me, are you? Please don't be mad at me! I'll do it! Pick me! I have to finish this report for the princess, summarizing all my other reports to the princess. I want to babysit! Pick me! Babysit? Now? When there's a swarm of hungry caterpillars heading this way? I gotta get all these apples picked before they get swarmed on. Ooh, ooh, I wanna do it! I got tickets to the Wonderbolts air show this afternoon. Got a dash! Ask me! Me, 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 me! Mwah! Babysit! Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I am flattered that you would think about me, though. Uh, uh, Pinkie Pie, how would you like to babysit for us? <gasps> I don't know. I'll have to check my schedule. Now, Pinky, are you sure you really understand the responsibility of watching over two babies? I can be responsible. Why, responsibility is my middle name. Pinky Responsibility Pie. But this time, you need to take care of them, not just play with them. You have to be responsible. Yes, I know. I will. I am. 
Oh, here you are, dearie. All of your responsibilities are on this list. Whoa, that's a lot of responsi... Consider it done. We'll frost it when we get there. Come on, sugar plum, tick, tick. Tick. Brother of mine. Well done, Flam. We're at top of activity. Yeah! Come on, Rainbow Dash. Keep grinding. We don't have time for quality control if we want to win this thing. Ah! Get back, you. One bad apple spoils that bunch. Applejack, help me. There's no point in winning if we cheat. We'll just have to work harder. Come on, every pony. All right then. Double time. Jack. Thanks. <sighs> Integrity like that will always be rewarded. Flim and Flam win! What? what? We lost? Aw, oh, too bad, Apples. Guess you'll just have to find a new line of work that doesn't match your names quite so perfectly. Now, should we tear down all these tacky old buildings and put up new ones, brother? I don't see why not, brother. After all, this isn't Sweet Apple Acres anymore. How about Flim Flam Fields? I ought to press you into jerk sight! No, Rainbow Dash. A deal's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to y'all. The cider business in Ponyville is yours. Come on, Apples. Let's go pack up our things. Fear not, every pony. There's more than enough cider to go around. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, every pony. Go on, y'all. It's okay. <laughs> Drink up, Pony Bell. Down the hat. rocks in it. I wouldn't pay one cent for this trick. You wouldn't pay even one cent? No! How about two cups for one cent? No! <laughs> two bits for the barrel? No! <laughs> it looks like we've encountered a slight problem here in Ponyville. No pony wants our product. Next town. Next town. Let's go, Sam. Let's go, Flam. We're gone. That means Sweet Apple Acres is still in business. Plus, we can have high quality Apple Family Cider. Because of this silly competition, we've made enough of our cider for the whole town. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, I wanted to share my thoughts with you. Ahem. I didn't learn anything. <laughs> I was right all along. If you take your time to do things the right way, your work will speak for itself. Sure, I could tell you I learned something about how my friends are always there to help me, and I can count on them no matter what. But truth is, I knew that already, too. Oh, I'm so worried. Is her face going to stay that way? Oh. How is she, Doctor? She's going to be fine. Luckily, she has friends like you who got her over here in a jiffy. How long do I need to lie here? I've got things I need to do. Well, that all depends on your recovery, but I'd say a few days minimum. You guys have got to get me out of here. 
here. I'm gonna climb the walls! Ooh, just like a spider! Did the crash somehow give her super duper spider powers? No, nor did it give her amazing healing powers. She needs to stay in bed for a few days. A few days? Might as well be a few months or a few years. It's not so bad, Rainbow Dash. I bet the chow in here is hooked looking good. And the hospital gowns, they match the curtains. And look, you have a roommate! for the Sapphire Stone. This is the first story in the series. I own all of them. No, thanks. I so don't read. I'm a world-class athlete. Reading's for eggheads like you, Twilight. <laughs> no offense, but I am not reading. It's undeniably, unquestionably, uncool. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> is she serious? Who doesn't like to read a bang-up tale from time to time? Why, a good book is almost as magnificent as silk pajamas on a Sunday morning. <laughs> reading is for every pony, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I love reading. And my head is even close to the shape of an egg. It's more the shape of an apple. Or maybe an orange, but a big orange. More like a grapefruit, really. All right, my little ponies. Rainbow Dash needs her rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I think you'd like Daring. She's a lot like you. Adventurous. Fierce and undeniably, unquestionably, unstoppable. As Daring Do trekked through the tropical jungle, the wet heat sapped her energy and slowed her every step. If only she could escape this oppressive atmosphere and fly up into the cool blue sky. But her crash landing in the jungle had injured her wing and she was grounded for a few days. A few days. It might as well be a few months or a few years. I'm right there with you, sister. The mosquitoes buzzed loudly. The macaws cried from the high trees. Yet, all of these distracting noises were not enough to cover the sound of the predators following her every step. Wow. <laughs> 